Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I'm back to cast another 2v2 match for you. This one will be on Kaidaren Depths, right? Yes. I think. And it will be Protech, the Red Terran, and his partner will be Megamix Bear, the Blue Zerg, and I have it um, on the down low. I, have, I know that this is actually the female Megamix Bear, so it turns out there are girls that play Starcraft. And actually, um, yeah, and I know that uh, there's actually a girl from one of my classes at school who has a cousin who's a girl who plays StarCraft. So it's not just rumor. There, that's two. That's two girls we have that play StarCraft. And their opponents will be Vitamin, the Teal Zerg, and his teammate will be none other than Power, the Purple Terran. So this is definitely a heavyweight matchup, and I'm pretty pumped to see what happens uh, in this game. Kaidaren Depths is this map. It's still relatively new. I actually really like this map, and I haven't played it enough, so I probably should refrain from talking about how much I love it and ranting about how awesome it is because I've only played on it like twice. But I have watched a few games so far on it, and they've been pretty exciting. Actually, <clears throat> this seems like a rush-friendly map so far in what I've seen from the play here. <clears throat> and um, for the most part, most of the new maps, uh, that was a little redundant, but yeah, most of the new maps are pretty much favoring, um, uh, favoring expansion and defense a lot, as opposed to... There, there were a lot of rush-friendly maps before, <clears throat> and they've added a lot of maps that are more macro-friendly. But this particular map, it is very, very difficult to secure the natural expansion, as you have to, uh, as it is, is really far, um, running units all the way out here, and then it's wide open, there's multiple entrances, there's like three different ways you can run into the natural. So getting that ex first expansion is very difficult. <clears throat> so a lot of times there will be a lot of early action. And as this game gets underway, we do see Vitamin sending out some early Zerglings, Mega Mix Bear, has some Zerglings of her own that will be uh, intercepting Vitamin Zerglings most likely here. <clears throat> As um, Actually, are they going to run across? Because Megamix Bear is running down here a little bit uh, confused as to what uh, she's doing there, but it looks like we'll be coming back to deal with this. And could, could Vitamin actually get a couple of drone kills? He might. Um, one more drone kill? Um, either way, he's forced these drones off the line for quite a while. Mega Mix Bear, though, does have the numbers advantage and will be forcing Vitamin back, it appears. <clears throat> I wanted to say really quick, just because I thought this was funny, is that um, um, I, I started this game over after about a minute because I realized, actually, the last couple of games I've been doing, I left my windows open, like my, my front window open, and usually like I close my window when I'm casting games because um, it probably sounds really weird to like anyone walking by. They're like, dude, what is that? Like, who is that guy talking to, man? He's going crazy, and there's like, what is going on in there? Like, so I like to close my windows before I do before I cast games, so it's it's not like people walking by my apartment being like, uh, dude, what the hell is going on in there? So anyway, just a random funny story. And here comes two Helios from Protech, and those are going to really scare the living bejesus out of Vitamin. I, you see what I did there? I refrained from using any cuss word. We'll see. They'll probably slip out later. But it looks like Power has a couple Hellions of his own. So here we go. Pretty standard. Mass Zergling and a couple of Hellions versus... Zergling and Hellions, and it's all going to come down to positioning right here. It looks like Protech has pretty good positioning with Megaman Spare support, and Vitamin is forced to retreat onto the creep. And are they going to continue to press Vitamin's base or switch over to Power's base? It looks like Protech and Megaman Spare are going to be going after Power's base, and what is he going to be able to do to deal with this? He has five Hellions right now, but that is not going to be enough, it looks like, as Vitamin needs to get his butt over here and start helping. And okay, now they have the pincher attack going right now, and oh man, Zerglings are being torched all over the place. Look at all the fiery Zergling death, as the Hellions just killed all the Zerglings in about three seconds, and now they're going to be fighting each other, but Protech is going to fall back a little bit, reinforce a couple more Hellions, and oh, it is on, ladies and gentlemen. It's anybody's game right now. Protech and Megamix Bear do have the position advantage there in front of their opponent's base, However, that means that Power and Vitamin will be able to reinforce this attack more quickly, and uh-oh, 
sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. You see that Power's got his Infernal Pre-Igniter coming very, very early. And I think Protec may have scouted that, so we'll see what happens as... Oh, Protec is going to scoot and shoot right into Vitamin's base. So the fact that Power went for this, alien, this Infernal Pre-Igniter is going to cost him a little bit in the unit department here. And that could be a major, major blow as it looks like Power is going to lose all of his Hellions. Oh man, Vitamin's base is completely undefended and he's totally screwed. Oh man, Vitamin giving the teary eyes because, man, that is the uh, the downside of going for the early Infernal Pre-Igniter. It's just that little extra minerals, that I believe Infernal Pre-Igniter is 150, 150 as far as minerals gas, but... Um, oh, look at the nice wall in here for power. He's going to keep himself in the game though. The Pre-Igniter is going to scare the shit out of Protex Hellions, excuse me. <laughs> There, yeah, yeah, I let that one go, okay. I, I, it's been a while since I did, so I had to let one go there. Let one fly. And I got it out of my system. Protex probably like, Jesus Christ, Irie, man. When did you turn into such a soft, such a softy? <laughs> Honestly, look at this. I, I'm, look at me, like, being all PC and coming up with, like, I'm such a wussy. That's what I should say. I'm a wussy because that's like, I oh don't know. I'm just going to stop right now. Look at all these Hellions from Power. Oh man, he's going to trap all these Hellions from Protect. And all oh, these Zerglings from Megas Bear need to get the hell out of Dodge because they're going to get killed so fast. And so Protect and Megas Bear maybe let up a little bit thinking like, you always do that. You always breathe a little sigh of relief when you kill one of your opponents and then all of a sudden, bam. There's 10 Infernal Pre-Igniter Hellions at your front door, so what are they going to do about it? The Hellions are actually going to be able to take out a Queen? No, the Queen is going to come back. There's drones! What the hell are these drones doing? <laughs> Vitamin's got a couple of drones in Mega Bear's base. I don't know what is going on there. As he has given all his minerals and stuff up, and Protect's actually landing his Vikings, doing quite a bit of damage to these Hellions. Interesting right there. I've, I've not seen that done almost ever, I think, and... That actually did a ton of damage right there. So Protec, um, perhaps he's getting these Vikings because he's thinking that um, that power would be transitioning to Banshees, which it looks like he may be doing now. <clears throat> but that may not be that effective with a um, <clears throat> bunch of Vikings on the field for Protec. So could we be seeing um, some really uh, some actual teching going on in this game? I mean, it is it has been it is now a one versus two. <clears throat> as Vitamin has nothing left. So it is power against Protec and Megamix Bear. And power is continuing to build Hellions. Um, Protec, it looks like, meanwhile, his, he's still not got his uh, Infernal Pre-Igniter, I don't think. Did he? And I didn't even see it. I want to see a shot from one of these Hellions so I know. Without missing. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, fine, fine. No, he doesn't because he never had a tech lab. Unless he did a switch there that I missed. <clears throat> As you do see, Vitamin has some vision here with this overload, so we'll see if that comes into play later. As Protec looks like was trying to land his Viking, get some free shots on the Hellions, because it turns out Viking is pretty strong against Hellions, but we'll see when one of them's landed. But they do count as armored, I believe, when they're landed, because otherwise they would have gotten completely torn asunder in that last engagement. Hellions chasing Hellions. So... Protect landing a Viking with about one hit point left. That wasn't going to work. And ooh, a sneaky, sneaky gold expansion over here. I don't believe that power sees anything to do with that. No, checking the vision. And oh, there is going to be a Hellion versus Hellion engagement. Power is going to fall back because there are a couple of Vikings um, waddling their way over. And that is actually going to ward these Hellions back. So Protect or power is going to have to think about switching it up a little bit. Um, as these Hellions aren't going to last forever. Could we possibly be see a, seeing a Marauder tech switch to go with this? We do see the Banshees out, and it looks like he's trying to hide these as long as possible. He does have a bunch of Vikings as well. So I guess he's got Vikings to counter Protex Vikings. And he's got a couple of Banshees in here, so... Once this second Banshee comes out, no cloaking by the way, and still off of just one base, not even bothering to try and expand his power. And the Vikings are going to come in here from Protec and fly right over all these Hellions. And it looks like Power is going to have to reveal his Vikings and start shooting these. 
and Protec is going to fall back, but not before losing a Viking and a half. Um, <clears throat> so a little bit of a standoff here. Protec realizing he can't break that right now. And I'm not sure, actually, if the Banshees were seen by Protec. Mm, I, I know he saw the Tech Lab on the, on the uh, uh, Starport, so he is continuing to make Vikings. He does have, uh, he still has no add-on to his starport as uh, Power is cleaning up some uh, some overlords here with his Viking. Meanwhile, major battle ensuing right here of Hellions and Banshees, and the Vikings are gonna pick, are gonna lift off to try and shoot the Banshees, but Power has five Vikings of his own to take them out. Uh oh, man. Uh oh, and now Megamix Bear is in a bit of trouble here. All the overlords are going down. Is Megamix Bear going to be supply blocked? Uh, she is definitely supply blocked. She does have a nice uh, set of defenses back here, though, with a bunch of spore crawlers. And a couple of spine crawlers are really, really, and a bunch of roaches, by the way, are going to keep everything out of that base. So, turtled up very nicely in the Zerg main. But power. He's going to scoot right on into uh, Protex main, and what is he going to be able to do about it? I don't know. It looks like Protex is going to go ahead and send out some units to try and counterattack. I'm not sure if Power is going to start to work on clearing out this gold expansion. And these uh, roaches from Mega Spare are coming in here, and they're like, "Wait a minute, we can't shoot against, we can't shoot the air units." So, wow, these two banshees from Power without even having cloak. He got a couple of Banshees and a bunch of Vikings to protect him. And Protec is going to lose his command center, it looks like. He's actually leaving it on the ground on purpose because he knows that if he lifts off, uh, we'll just get killed instantly by these Vikings. And Protec is going to be trying to make a switch into Marines. It looks like throwing down four barracks at this goal location. And does Power have any idea about that expansion? He does not. And at the same time, um, uh, Power has... Okay, the Roaches from Megamix Bear have gone right into the middle line of Power. And looks like they have done a lot of damage. Actually, Power was able to get most of his SUVs over to this bold expansion. And it looks like these Banshees are going to clean up uh, the Roaches here. They will not be able to get away. The Banshees are going to be chasing them. I did see a ping go off. So it looks like maybe Vitamin scouted this. And then now, um, or no, Power um, does realize this is here, so what is Protec going to be able to do? He has a couple of missile turrets in the back by the mineral line. But he's not going to be able to protect these barracks unless he lifts them off and moves them back over here. So this is pretty interesting right now. I, mean, I really, I have no idea how this, how is this game going to play out. I think Power has the upper hand somehow right now. I'm, pinging, I'm seeing some ping going on. He actually has a siege tank too. And one on the low ground, one on the high ground, and a planetary fortress. So that's going to be very difficult to break. Protect. Getting a lot of trouble. He's going to need to build a new command center, it looks like, somewhere else. I don't know what he's going to be able to do. Mega Mix Bear now has a bunch of Hydras out. Six Hydras and make it eight, nine roaches are going to be making their way over here. So these hydras are going to force back these units, but the roaches will be able to protect. Power would like to get some shots off on those hydras with these hellions. But the roaches in front position pretty nicely there for Megamix Bear. And oh, got to be careful, Power. Engaging on the creep right there. Those hydras are like three times as fast on the creep. That was an exaggeration, but... Um, See, yeah, they are twice as fast on the creep as off the creep, so that is a pretty huge difference. So if I were Power right now, and then far be it for me to tell Power what to do, it looks like he is kind of thinking what I'm thinking is don't engage these Hydras on the creep, make them come off the creep, and keep harassing Protect's uh, base here until the Hydras get off the creep, and now try and engage them, but he doesn't really have enough Hellions. Does he? He's going to try and get around the back and shoot some of these Hydra lists. And oh, a lot of damage being done there from that one attack, but the Roach is nicely, nicely corralling those Hellions, only allowing basically one or two shots to go off on the Hydra list. And at the same time, Queen's coming out from Megamix Bear, pooping out creep everywhere. There's creep everywhere to make a Hydra list highway. And it looks like Megamix Bear is going to start making that Hydra list highway all the way across the map into Power's main eventually. We will see as Megamix Bear finally has thrown down that uh, expansion hatchery as her main base is pretty hurting. So um, actually no uh, group spines yet for Megamix Bear. I'm shocked at that. 
Um, I think that may just be a sort of a brain fart, and we should be seeing those group that group spine upgrade going down very soon because that is pretty much one of the best upgrades you can get in StarCraft 2. If you're going to get Hydras like this, you have this many Hydras, it's got to be a mistake. You need those groove spines, uh, the extra range on the Hydra list. Any kind of range upgrade is always just ridiculously, ridiculously useful. As Protech is still alive, hanging on by a thread. Meanwhile, um, Power actually going for Medivac, so he has switched to some Bio. So, um... Power has started building Marines, and he has a medevac. Will we be seeing um, some dropship play? Um, I'm not sure how effective it will be, though, because Magnus Bear has thrown down a lot of static defense all over the place. But actually, a drop, um, it will be really difficult to get any drop ships in the back there. And as we saw, a Protex base, he does have a couple of missile turrets, though. A drop going off right here, and we're stimming into the middle line could be very effective. It looks like Power is just going to be beefing up here. He's got quite a bit of siege tanks on the way. Er, not in the way anymore, but he did build like five or six of those. And he is going to move out. And at the same time, he's going to leave a spread of three siege tanks at his uh, main and natural. So he's going to start to crawl out here with these siege tanks. And he's going to need... Yeah, we do see finally a Raven is on the way for power as he is realizing, man, there is just way too many creep tumors on the map right now. I do not have the energy off my one orbital command to be able to kill all of these creep tumors. And we do see a changeling from Mega Mix Bear. We'll, we'll wonder if that is going to be scouted. At the same time, there is a major battle going on as the Banshees are going to... As the Vikings, you notice the Vikings there, sniped the Overseer and the Banshees all cloaked and are doing are just ravaging this ground army as the Vikings are continuing to shoot down oh and the the Hydralis wisely focusing down the Vikings right there before they can kill this overseer and now that that is out this cloaking these cloaked banshees are not going to be able to do a whole lot so that attack actually nice recovery there from Megamix Bear is pretty much a 1v1 right now Protec is sort of he was down to basically nothing so he's been having to remake SCPs remake all his basic structures and these Banshees are going to be like, man, you got to be kidding me. There's four crawlers and spine crawlers all over the place. There's creep everywhere. What in the hell am I supposed to do? He does have this Raven out, so now he will be able to start pushing back this creep. So um, we'll see if actually the Hellions are going to try and do sort of a run by. The problem with all this creep is that Protec and Meg McBear know exactly what is happening here. And maybe pa that's what Power wants. Maybe he wants Megamix Bear to move her entire army down here to deal with these couple of Hellions. And that is when he is going to try and catch her off guard. We will see. As this really is still anyone's game. It's basically a one against a... It's basically one against one and a half. As Protec is... Pr now he's pretty much dead. <laughs> as <laughs> Protec is like... Stop telling Power what to do. It's like... <laughs> you're scouting... So he's like, no wonder we're losing because you're scouting for him. I don't know, like, what the hell Brodeck's really talking about. I think there's some serious sarcasm in that because um, power is pretty much <clears throat> what I've seen, especially as Terran, man. He is, a, he is a force to be reckoned with as he does have his Raven out now. And Raven pretty much just going to be used for killing creep tumors because a you know a point defense drone, a secret missile would be pretty awesome, but I don't think he's going to research that. A point defense drone will get ripped up or used up pretty quickly with a bunch of Hydralis, but it could make a big difference absorbing some of those initial Hydralis attacks, enough time for some siege tanks to get some splash damage. We will see as he's actually making another Raven. So continuing to press forward, he does have quite a sizable army here, and here comes the engagement. There are a couple of banelings in there for Mega Man Square, but it looks like they are getting trapped behind some of these queens. And the siege tanks were a little bit late getting into siege mode. This battle is going pretty even right now. One siege tank down here on the low ground is going to, to turn the tides of that battle. These marines are going to stem and fall back to this siege tank. There is another siege tank, two, three more up here that looks like power did bring up. And, oh man, Megamix Bear's in a lot of trouble. Gonna have to try and deal. Oh, one Banling almost made it into that ball of Marines. As now, the one problem right now for Megamix Bear is, are the, the uh, siege tanks right now. And even Power throwing down some auto turrets. Uh, those aren't gonna do a whole lot now that uh, <clears throat> he has won that battle. But, oh man, is Power going to take this game? Are Power and Vitamin going to take this game? I would be so shocked.
And I don't even know what to say. If it looks like Power is going to win this game because I don't think Mega Man Square can break this anymore. There's auto turrets, there's marines, there's tanks. I mean, look at the tech switch. <clears throat> this is something that I've had a lot of trouble doing, especially on Terran, is switching tech. Um, I've been getting a little bit better at the Hellion opener. I see Protech is going to GG. The GGs go off all around, so what a game. This game was actually sent to me by Vitamin. So thank you, Vitamin, for sending me this game. I mean, I don't know what to say as far as the analysis goes. Um, wow, really well played by Power, first of all. And um, I, like I said at the beginning, the fact that he went for that Infernal Pre-Igniter may have cost Vitamin his life. It's, hard, it's really hard to say. But um, the fact that he was at a 1 or 2 Hellion disadvantage early on against Protech and Mega Bear may have cost Vitamin his life, but really mostly came down to positioning in some of those early uh, Hellion Zergling engagements. And then in the late game, the tech switching by power, switching to siege tanks, um, getting the Ravens out to kill all the creep off, especially um, in that early to mid game there when he had the Vikings, when he, he switched to Vikings and Banshees and then hid them in the back here until and by the time Protech scouted them it was too late Protech had no tech uh, add-on onto his starport so he could not build Vikings fast enough and Protech or er, Power just came in here with his Banshees and Vikings and took out Protech's main harassed the crap out of this base and just held back Mega Bear as long as he could until he could finally make the death push and even throwing down auto turrets for good measure. So thank you, Vitamin, again for sending me this game. Thank you guys for watching it. This game was uh, very exciting and a pleasure to cast. So this is Irie Starcraft, and that's going to do it for me. So peace out.